All right, how y'all doing? Neighborhood Medical Center here. I'm Joseph Ward, and I am here with Dr. Mitchell. Dr. Mitchell. So we're about to ask Dr. Mitchell some questions about safe sex and HIV AIDS, and you know what we do. So, Dr. Mitchell, yeah. what does HIV stand for? Oh gosh, cut the camera. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so it stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. Okay. So, so just so. HIV, just remember that human immu immunodeficiency virus. Okay. So, let me ask you this next question. How often do you think people should get tested if they're act sexually active? I would say every two months. Every two months? Every two months. Why you say every two months? Because I feel like most people deal with a person at least for a good month, and then they switch to somebody else, and then they don't really know their status, and they think that that person is safe when they're really not. So, so, even though it's you a month off, but I love your answer. because And the reason I love your answer because you're thinking about making sure you get tested when you're dealing with new situations. Okay. But it's because uh, HIV antibody show up in somebody's body every three months. So that's why we recommend every three months. So if you're, now if you're married, once a year, mm -hmm. but if not, three to six months. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, for generations... Which condom do you think is the most popular condom amongst college students? Trojan, but I see a lot of Durex floating around. Yeah, I would say Durex. Okay, Durex. I thought you was going to say Magnum. Oh, child, no. <laughs> that child, no. Some people don't meet the qualifications, all right? Mm-mm. Nope. Right, trust me. We know they don't meet the qualifications, but they still try to wear the Magnums all the time. Okay. It's funny. It's funny. Okay, so last question. Should you have a conversation with the person that you're about to have sex with about anything that you are concerned about? Should you have a conversation with them about their STDs, about their sexual history, about their body count? Do you think that conversation is important? If so, why? If not, why? I think you should have the conversation before you begin anything sexual related because people lie about their status. Also, you just want to be on the safe side. You really don't want to mess with somebody and then something happens and then they ghost you and now you don't have that person to talk to. But it's just being safe, being smart and using your common sense. Using your common sense. That's what we're here to do. Inspire people to be smart and be safe and use their common sense. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tell us once again your name and your social media, Instagram or anything you want to shout out. I am Dr. Jessica Mitchell. Uh, my Instagram is jfarm, my former name. Um, yeah, follow me. I'm nice people. And we do it best. We do it real and we do it great up here on FAMU campus. Yep, happy homecoming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Y'all take care. You too. Hey everybody, I'm here on the set. It's homecoming weekend. I have with me... Titus. All right, Titus, nice to meet you. Where are you from? South Florida. Okay, me too, crib, crib. Okay, so Titus, I have a, I have a question for you. When the last time you had sex? It's been about a month. A month? Okay, okay. Do you know how often you're supposed to get tested? Every three months. Okay, or every new partner. All right, all right, all right. Um, let me see, let me see. Do you know what HIV stands for? Human something virus. Immunodeficiency virus. Okay. okay, okay. So thank you so much, Titus. Make sure you spread the word. Let everybody know who we are. We are Neighborhood Medical Center. If you want to get tested, let everybody know we're doing testing. And come see us. All right, y'all. I found some other people. And I have with me... Brianna. Okay, Brianna. Gael. Gael. Okay, okay. Where y'all from? Maryland, Upper Marlboro. Woo-woo. Orlando. Okay, okay. So y'all, when the last time y'all had sex? A month ago. Um, I can't disclose that information. Do y'all use protection? Yes, ma'am. Every time? Every time. Every time, okay, that's great, that's great. Do y'all know what AIDS stands for? Isn't it acquired immunity, immunodeficiency AIDS disorder? Or disease? Disease, disease. okay. Disease. Okay, okay, pharmacy. Oh, they teaching you something. Do you know what HIV stands for? Um, human immune virus? Human immunodeficiency virus. Yes, yes, yes. Or as, as far as STIs go, do you guys think the numbers are going up or down? I mean, I feel like they're, stay, they're steadily inclining, but not at a fast rate because, I mean, a lot of people aren't informed. A lot of people are informed. So it's like people may have them without knowing. So you never know. Okay, okay. 
And do you know out of what age, what age has the most rate, the highest rate, most common uh, STDs? Um, like teenagers? Yeah, our generation? Yeah, our generation. You think so? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Positive. Yes. Okay, so the age is 13 to 25. That is the age range of the highest. Yes, the highest STD rates is between the ages of 13 and 25. All right, y'all. Well, make sure y'all get tested. Come see us. Thank y'all so much. And happy homecoming. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye. All right, y'all. So I got with me. Frank. Frank. James. James, that's my daddy name. Oh, yeah. Sound like a great man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all. So when the last time y'all had sex? Uh, a month ago. A month ago? It was with your girlfriend? Something like that. Uh, something like that. Ooh, a little whoop de whoop. <laughs> okay. When the last time you had sex? Frequent enough. <laughs> I'll take it. Y'all using protection? No. No. But it was, it was a something like that. It was something like that. Friend, <laughs> you using protection? Yeah, I do, yeah. Okay. What kind well what kind of condoms do y'all like when you use protection? Trojan. Trojan? Oh yeah, you gotta go with the magnums, yeah. Okay, okay. So when y'all are using these condoms, is your partner receptive to using them as well? Like how does that conversation go? Yes, they, they, they typically like it. it. It keeps the scare away, the uh -huh. pregnancy scare, so okay. so they, they sometimes prefer it all depends on the mood. I mean when they it's gonna be dark a lot of times, so sometimes I just put it out, put it on. Ask questions after we finish. All right, all right. Okay, last question. How often do y'all get tested? Every three months. Okay. Oh, yeah, about like six months. Yeah, because as you know, that safe sex is that great sex, but with that latex, you don't want that latex, you know? I like it. I like it. So we want to remind y'all to always get tested, typically every three to six months, and every new partner, or every little woo to woo something like that, all right? And always remember, you have neighborhood right around the corner, and you can come and get a test from us, and we'll be right with y'all, all right? All right, thank y'all. Enjoy y'all homecoming. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I have with me today Madison Lawler. Madison. Kellen Edward. Say your name? Kellen, K E L E N. Okay, Kellen, Kellen, Kellen. Nice to meet y'all. So, when is the last time y'all had sex? A couple of weeks ago. Okay, did you wrap it up? Yeah. Okay, perfect. When's the last time you had sex? A couple weeks ago. Did you wrap it up? Yes, ma'am. All right, all right. So since we're wrapping things, what's your favorite wrapping? Condom, honey, condom. Oh. Any that's any that don't break. <laughs> okay. I like it. I like it. What's your favorite condom preference? Anyone I get for free. <laughs> Anyone you get for free. Okay. So when's the last time y'all got tested? About a week ago. A week ago. I haven't been tested before. You said what? I haven't been tested before. Okay, so we want to encourage everybody to always get tested every three to six months or every new partner. Um, if you are having sex frequently, you can even get tested even more frequently than that. Um, is there a reason you've never been tested? Uh, Because, you know, before this, I wasn't really in doonies like that, so I felt like there wasn't really a reason. And now that I am, I just never, like, it's never, like, passed my mind to go get tested. Okay, well, we just want to remind y'all that Neighborhood Medical Center is always open to offer free tests. We're here typically every set Friday. Um, the test takes typically 10 minutes, and we can know you can know your status within 15 minutes. Oh. Sounds good? Yeah. All right, so when you coming? T -t Today. All right, good answer, good answer. All right, y'all, well, just remember to have a safe homecoming, wrap it up, use protection. So you don't have to come see us and get something else, okay? All right, thank y'all. Have a good one.